Welcome to Mariposa Wool and Mills Needle Felting Basics and Kit Instruction. For those of you new to felting and deciding to try a new craft, let me give you a small intro. Basically, felting is causing wool fibers to intermingle and knot together. This can be accomplished in a couple ways. Wet felting is one way, with hot water, a little soap, and a lot of friction. The other way is needle felting with which I will demonstrate later on in the video. Felting needles have barbs and uh, they grab onto other fibers, to the wool fibers, as it's poked into the wool, causing this intermingling or felting. It always is best to use a surface, such as a foam or a rice pad, um, because the needles are very sharp. This kit provides all needed supplies to start this new fun, easy hobby. Let's get started. All right, well, let's get started using the slight blue mat and there's an overlay that we'll apply. So if you, you're deciding where you want to put your horizon line, not all of it will be used if you, so just decide. It's up to you, it's your painting. So I put my horizon line there and um, Gonna give a bit of white at the top. Okay, so next thing will be just felting that overlay down to the blue mat and just poking it and making sure everything is nice and secure. You'll find this takes a bit of time. Don't be discouraged.
Now grabbing your next color, we'll just apply. So we pinch and pull just so we have an airy, uh, soft purple. Um, as we're adding the colors, that's when you're doing a painting, you're, you want to add less is more. That's how I think about it. And so there's like soft edges on each side. So that's good for blending. So we're just going to apply all the different colors for behind the trees. So, and the application of those are, is, is all the same. So pinching and lying it down where you want it. If you want colors to blend together, then you leave it a little thinner. So it's going to be anchored down just like the overlay initially. So just continue with that and, um, and we'll add the orange and then the black and that will all be applied the same way. You may find that once you start to um, poke the colors in, it may create some lines that you don't want. So just don't be afraid to pull it up. And if you find that those colors don't work right there, then you just move it to a different section and um, you can actually comb out the fibers, just separate them with your needle and uh, so that you can blend your colors better. So you can also use the needle to create the depth um, in addition to the color. So you want to create a definition of your horizon line. You can give a bit more felting in that area to create that line. Like if you want to create trees in the background, um, you can create the silhouettes of those trees with your needle felting um, by just creating a single line with your with your needle poking. All the while you're just giving indication of a shape, or it's not necessarily for the detail, but just to give some accents.
So adding the black will just give more depth in the background. Now I'm going to extend the fibers as far as they can go so that they will have that tapered edge, like maybe a branch. Still staying consistent with my horizon line. I'm going to move on to the birch trees, and uh, so dividing the fibers, so you're creating the, the width of your, your birch tree. It just gives you a starting point. You don't have to follow the, the image, it just gives you a good guideline. You'll see that I fold it up. I, I poke the fibers in not too far from where the bottom is, and then I fold up the extra so that I can get a straight line from on the base. Or in this case, an angled straight edge because the hill is at an angle anyway. So as you finish up the details of your trees, just remember less is more. So just adding the stripes and the, the dots that birch trees have, uh, just remember that uh, less is more. And you can also add the extensions of those bare branches. Uh, just be creative in, in adding them some in front, some behind.
Perhaps it'll be a beautiful painting when you put your creative twist on it. So as you see, I, I take a small bit, roll it in my fingers, and I tack down the beginning and I give a little bit of tension. Tension on the fibers, not pulling them completely away so that I can have that tapered effect softening to disappearance of the fiber so that I can use every bit of it. And you'll do that across the bottom as well, the base of the trees, and um, yeah, so any of it, any of those areas that you want to have a soft tapered edge, you just twist, anchor it down, and give it a little tension, and poke towards your hand that's giving the tension. Um, and then the fibers will disappear um, out of your hand, so in essence it will have a softer, thinner edge toward the end. So felting is very forgiving when you're painting with, with wool. If you don't like an area, just pull it up and uh, reapply it to an area that you just keep trying until you like it. So just remember, less is more. Tiny little pinches of fire will suffice for the details that you have.
just felting down the end um, and your painting is done. Thanks for watching Miracles of Woolen Mill Felting Basics Kit Instruction video. So continue felting and to replenish your felting needs, come visit us at the farm market or online at the link on your screen. Stay tuned for more felting fun.